Hi, I'm Egg Firth. Thank you very much for clicking on my video today. And um, I'm in a slightly strange box, but what I want to show you today is a fast two tick, one wide, tileable clock. And if you're thinking, hang on, I can use observers to do a um, fast tileable clock, well, I'll also be showing you why observers are maybe not the best thing to use. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Okay, so I said I'd show you why I didn't like observer clocks, um, and to do that, I'm going to start off by building um, a comparator clock. So these are really, really fast and reliable. So I'm going to put a comparator down, it's in subtract mode, a line of dust looping back into the side, give it some power, and that produces a clock for me. Um, I should take my dust from here. So I can now put a piston down. As you can see, that piston goes up and down. However, that is not the fastest speed a piston can go. And that's because the comparator clock is actually too fast for it. I can instead put down a repeater and stick it to two ticks. And now when I put my piston here, you see that's actually going a lot faster. And that is the fastest that piston can go. Okay, so my comparator clock, two tick output from a repeater, gives me a reliable piston at maximum speed. So let's do the same with uh, an observer. So an observer clock's really, really easy to build. Uh, you probably know two kissing observers get very excited and start to pulse at the back. So let me stick my piston down here. And you can see that's pretty slow. Right, do the same trick again. Stick down a repeater, put it on two ticks. Stick my piston here. And hang on a minute. That's not nearly as fast. And there is no way of getting a proper, reliable two tick signal out of a comparator clock. Uh, uh, sorry, out of a observer clock. And that is why I do not like them. If there's anything you want to do with reliable timing, an observer clock is not the way to go. And actually interestingly as well, if you compare uh, sticking a, a dropper or a dispenser against here compared to against a comparator clock, uh, the comparator clock will empty that dispenser much quicker than this will. Again, because the timings are just a bit weird and off. So, how do I build a fast one wide two tick tileable clock? Let's do a build. I'm going to start off with a stack of four here, a stack of three next to it, a stack of two and one. Knock out this corner, knock out this diagonal. So I've got this. Repeater here, repeater here, torch here, repeater here, and a sticky piston above this block here. So to finish this off, I just need this to um, go into a block to be able to power this piston. I need to power this comparator, uh, comparator repeater, sorry. So there we go, that's our clock. And you're going, well, it's not working. What are you doing? Um, and the problem is that actually I need to um, power this and power this at very precise timings. Um, but actually it's not very difficult to do. So let's put a block on there, put a, another sticky piston here. And I'm gonna replace this for now with a lever. So this lever now will power this piston, push this block over, and at the same time as it's powering that piston, it'll power this repeater here. Um, that will send a signal across to this repeater, but at pretty much the same time, this is coming across, powers this piston and pushes this block down, which breaks that um, connection. And you end up with a clock circuit that way. So here we go. And you can see that's pretty fast. So if I compare that now to um, this one, I 
have taken output from here. Which is a bit of a pain, it's not ground level, but uh, you know, it's just life. So that is a, um, a tileable two tick clock. One thing I'd say is that having a lever is not always the most practical thing, so I can go back to a torch if you want, and we could use um, a redstone circuit over here to power down power the clock. So whatever system we want down here. Okay. One thing to watch out for is the timings are a bit sensitive. Um, you may find that if you are adjusting these, that it may work. Uh, it may stop working. My advice would be be quite careful with them. Um, generally, I've found that if these two repeaters are on the same number of ticks, then it's pretty reliable. Um, if they're not, you may get some problems. All right, but actually the point for us today was to have a fast one. So we'll have everything on one tick. There you go. Thank you very much. So I hope you found that useful and uh, that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please consider giving me a like. I'm just starting out um, producing YouTube videos and it does really help out. So thank you very much and bye bye.